Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. I have an awful garbage filthy mouth so viewer discretion is advised but if you're not into that or weird shit in general this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to exit the video here. No harm, no foul, but I'll remember our time fondly. Welcome babies! I kind of did this backwards because <laughs> I just like jumped into the video but we're filming a good old-fashioned get ready with me where I talk a little bit about my move but more or less kind of focus on all the fun products that I'm talking about in today's video and it's pretty much all influencer makeup. We have the new Bling Brushes Allie Dawson collection, the Holiday Lunar Beauty collection, the Holiday Laura Lee Los Angeles, we have Milan Rowe, Lisa Eldridge. We have a lot of influencers, okay? And we're just busting at the seams here. So I'm super excited to show you how I created this a really adorable, adorable look, because I think it's adorable. And um, yeah, watch me just talk shit and act like a complete fucking idiot. <sighs> Love that for me. Why hello my little lambs. We have nothing on my face except for brows because that's just how we roll here. Welcome to a get ready with me where I'm just gonna try pretty much a bunch of influencer makeup. A lot of shit has come out and I just been itching to just wanna sit and talk and play and do all kinds of fun stuff. And that's what we have in today's video. Everything that I put on my face today and I talk about will be listed in the description box below. And without me just kind of droning on forever and ever and ever and ever, I'm just gonna cut to the fucking chase. What we're gonna do first today is we're going to do our eye look because I don't know how this eyeshadow brand is gonna react to my face and I don't know if it's gonna be Fallout City. So the palette that I'm gonna be using today is from Milan Rowe and this is the Poison Ivy palette. This is the Doodles by the Bunny collaboration and uh, I'm excited. This is a very pretty color story. One of the prettier green palettes I've seen in, I wanted to say yesteryear. That literally makes no sense, but you know what I mean. Yonder times. Even worse. That literally makes no sense. Anyway, um, I'm excited to check this out, but I have no expectations. And <laughs> that's what today is, kids. No expectations. So if something does suck, I'm not super upset about that. And uh, the other thing I do want to point out too is that the brushes that I'm going to use today are slightly different than my normal brushes. So normally I use like my natural hair, my Ruffer, my Sonia G, my Bristles Beauty, but today we're going to be using bling brushes. I know a lot of y'all have been like asking me like, hey, what, what synthetic brushes do you use? And honestly, I really don't use too many synthetic brushes, but the ones that I do use are the ones that I really, really treasure. And I'm so excited to talk about this specific collaboration and that's with my good friend Allie Dawson. She recently came out with her own brush set with bling brushes which is really fucking cute. You get a little bag, you get eight eye brushes and five face brushes and of course they're in the iconic redstone packaging which pretty much just mirrors her red fucking lips. I feel like she's the only person I know that really looks good in red lipstick. Everybody else is like mm, she's the best person for it so I'm super excited to play with these. Huge congratulations to her. And if you are interested, they're actually launching today. So again, all the information about these brushes will be in the description box below. And because there are eight brushes, we're gonna try to use as many as I can with my little tiny hooded eyes. And I have to say, for the most part, there are a fair amount of brushes that we can use. And in particular, I'm looking at you, Bubby, and this is the E33. Yep, the E33, which I believe is, if I'm reading this correctly, a precision blend brush. So this looks like it's gonna be perfect for my little hooded eyes and the bristles feel very very soft because I'm a bougie bitch and I like soft fucking things. Okay so without further ado let me just slap some concealer on my eyes and let's just go to town. <sighs> Welcome to dead mess y'all. How's everybody doing? I am tired. <laughs> I'm tired. Actually, wait, there's a concealer brush. What am I, what am I doing here? Why not utilize these brushes? Usually use my little piggy finger, but how about we just use this one? And this is a concealer brush. This is an E32, which I'm sure you could probably do for that, but let's just use it as an eye primer brush today. Um, I'm tired. I'm really excited to be doing Dead Mess, but also when you have a full-time job, it's difficult, you know, because your full-time job doesn't stop. Like I don't do YouTube stuff during the day, right? So during the day I have my actual job, but can I tell you, I am just, I'm tired, but I'm excited because I love doing this. It's so much fun, but I'm also fucking tired, like <laughs> tired. And what makes it even more fun, the time that I'm actually filming this video, it's 60 more days till I'm here. 60 more days that I'm in New York and then I get to 
fucking leave this shithole and I get to go to another shithole <laughs> and that's Florida and I'm so fucking excited so actually you know what I want to talk a little bit about my trip I recently went to Florida and everything kind of actually wait hold on before I do that because this is gonna fucking take me all day what are we gonna do today Oof. I don't know what are we gonna do we're gonna go with the shade new leaf down here and a little kick up and pan but whatever it's fine okay so I recently went to Florida and I, like I said, everything just kind of fell into place. As soon as we landed, I already knew exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to go look at apartments. Now, mind you, my lease doesn't go up until May of next year. Ever since I kind of got it in my mind that we were moving, everything has been going wrong here. Um, recently had a flood due to the wild fucking construction that is currently going on right above my head. They start at like 7 30, 8 o'clock and they don't end sometimes till 5 5 30. And when I tell you <laughs> there have been days where I just literally like I, I could see myself being on the news for like murdering people. Like <laughs> it's bad. Like I have misophonia really really bad and to make matters worse hearing non-stop drilling above your head where it feels like your bones are fucking vibrating and you're about three seconds away from either having an orgasm or your fucking pancreas to pop out like a pinata. It's terrible. Like I hate it so fucking much. And because of the vibrations, for whatever reason, I feel violently sick all the time. The worst kind of feeling where it feels like you're about to throw up but you don't throw up, that's what I feel like. And I hate it so much. So this has been going on for months now and there's no end in sight. And it said, <laughs> according to our management, they said that it was going to take, I think like six months. And I was like, fuck that, I, I, I can't deal with it. So between like the things that are happening here, my job went full remote. I don't have to go back into the office. I only have to go back twice a year, which is wonderful. And honestly, I kind of feel like it's a better deal for my employer because I don't know about y'all who actually work from home or still work from home or kind of have a similar gig to what I have, but you find yourself kind of just not being able to shut off. You're working longer hours because you don't have to worry about your commute. So you're staying on 30 minutes here, 45 minutes here, an hour here. You're signing on early, whatever. Like you're working more hours uh, because you don't have to commute. And I know it's easier said than done, like to try to like shut off and walk away, but sometimes it's just impossible, you know? So because of that, I was like, okay, I'm ready to go. Let's go. I'm born and raised in New York and I just want to see something different. And we chose Florida because we have friends and family there. So so it's not like it's a completely new spot. Plus I'm a weirdo fucking Disney adult. I just want to be near Disney. I love it. It's the only time where I feel like I'm genuinely happy <laughs> because that's how much New York kills my soul. So we're gonna go with the shade Calamine over here. And we're just gonna kind of like buff out the outer corner just to soften it up. These shadows kind of require you to build up, which is not a bad thing, but I was kind of hoping that these are gonna be a little bit more pigmented, but so far they're blending out nice. Just gotta build them up. Oh my God, I feel like I look like Mimi Bobak. <laughs> Not a bad thing, we all aspire to be her. All right, I'm just gonna go in with this darker shade right over here. See if that gives a little bit more depth. Oh, just a scotch. All right, not bad. Just gotta build it up. So anyway, we went to Florida a couple weeks ago and I was like, all right, cool. We're just gonna go look at apartments. Just kind of get a feel of it. Cause you can only judge things from a photo, right? Like I can only watch so many fucking YouTube videos. Like I need to see things in person just to get kind of a perspective of space and stuff like that. As soon as we land, my best friend picked us up. My best friend, Michael, pictured here adorable and uh, we just decided like all right let's just go check out some places so the first day we get down there and we wind up seeing five places and each place <laughs> I want to say just got progressively worse. The first place was amazing. It was everything that I wanted, but I was like, you know what? Let's continue to kind of look a little bit more. So we go to the next place. That place was nice, but more money and smaller. And then the next place was not as nice, but even smaller <laughs> and even more money. And then the next place was even more, like you see what I'm saying? Like it was just more money, more money, more money. So the point that it was just like not even like fun to look anymore. So that night, I was like, you know what? I know exactly which one I want, but let me sleep on it. Next day I wake up and I realize this is where I want to be. I'm so fucking excited. Let's see if we can find some availability. Now, like I said before, my availability 
really should be in the spring. However, if something is kind of too good to pass up, I'll make an allowance for cutting out my lease early. Actually gonna go with the shade, not today, Batman. Lo and behold, they have something available. Oh, this is nice. Okay, these are really great. I like how easy these brushes are. Everything's blending very, very beautiful. Anyway, so lo and behold, they actually have um, availability, which is great. Here's my issue with the darker shade. Um, you see how I kind of like blended that away? Pigment, uh, assuming it's like one of those things that you're gonna have to just pack on and leave alone. Yeah, all right, okay, not bad, not bad. Let's just kind of pack it on and leave it be. Hopefully it won't be too patchy. Okay, so lo and behold, they have space available. Problem is, <laughs> uh, it's January. And I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, that's too soon. That's too soon. Like, I love it, but that's too soon. So they made a deal and they said, all right, well, we can hold this spot for you until February. Okay, actually, here's the thing. I don't like that darker shade because it kind of like brushes away into nothing. So, hmm. It's like everything that I laid down, I'm trying to go over it gently and it's already gone. I don't like that. All right, all right. I mean, it's not terrible, but like I notice it and I don't know if you could pick it up on camera, but it kind of looks a little patchy in the outer corner. So I think I'm just gonna just gently just place a little bit on the outer corner and just kind of leave it alone and not do anything else. And maybe just cover it up with a shimmer because I'm not really loving that. <sighs> okay, so they basically have the place for us in, in February. And then uh, I was like, okay, cool. All right, what do you need? So I filled out, so I filled out all the necessary paperwork. I left a deposit, which by the way, New York is fucking highway robbery, bitch. I feel like I have to leave like a deposit, blood type, a fucking kidney, the promise of a child if I decide to have one. Like, <laughs> I feel like I have to leave all this shit. But in Florida, it's like, so do you have a pack of gum? I'll trade you for gum. And I'm like, okay. I love that. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to regret that or if I'm going to be really like just super fucking happy with my decision. Either way, I'm here for the fucking ride. Okay. I need some excitement in my life and there's nothing exciting going on in New York at all. At all. So the rest of my trip was great. You know, hung out, seen friends, actually had dinner with Allie, Allie Dawson, which was really fun. And, um, came home and then I was like, okay, okay, mass exodus out of New York. We gotta start telling everybody. We let our lease company know, which actually was not a bad deal. Like I forgo my security deposit, but I don't have to give that much money to them for breaking the lease. Like I thought I would have to pay like months and months, but turned out not so bad. I'll take it. I'm gonna use this brush, which is the E37. And there's a, a jeweled shade. I'm gonna see if it picks up dry. Okay, that was a mistake on my part. That was a mistake, that's fine. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad, but it definitely, you can see it's a uh, fucking chunk city. So let me just, at least it goes away. What I do like about the shimmers is that they're actually pretty impactful. So let me see, let me try to go in with a finger. Aha, okay. And when you kind of go over that not today Batman shade, it covers up the patchiness, so that's not bad. All right, so I have a little bit right in the kind of inner portion and I'm going to, I don't know, I kind of keep going back and forth. Do I wanna, kind of wanna use Ivy League? Do I wanna use Ivy? No, not really. Or do I wanna use Pistachio? Ooh, okay, I think I'm gonna take Ivy League. And I'm gonna kind of pop that right here. Hmm, didn't really do too much. I don't know, not really loving that one. But I am gonna go in with Pistachio. Love that for me. So they're doing construction on my roof, right? And um, <laughs> every day I see them, like I line, like when I open the curtains, I just, I see the workers and um, they look at me and then they just fucking drill into the side of the building. And I just, I love that for me because I feel it in my, fucking head but they have all this plastic and shit up around like kind of towards the top of the window so now that the strong wind's outside it's like smashing against the goddamn building right i just i love i love it here i fucking love it here i really do okay so i'm gonna go with pistachio <laughs> and i'm just gonna take this and put that right in the front there Mind you, this is without any glitter glue or anything like that. So I think what I'm gonna do actually, I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of epoxy, just to put right there. Kinda wanna see how this lays down. It's a little bit more impactful with glitter glue. Yeah, okay, that's that's the ticket. All right, so for this to be a little bit more impactful, you need to have some sort of like saturation. Otherwise, I mean, it's pretty, but like it could be cuter. I'm starting to like this better now. And then I'm just gonna go back in with jeweled and just kind of use my finger just to marry the two just like cousins. Joke never gets old. 
All right. Not too shabby. Okay, I'm gonna stop fucking with, <laughs> with my eyes, but I think I can fuck with this. I like this. There's only one shade that was kind of like a little funky that was not today Batman, but I think once you kind of put jeweled over it, it doesn't look bad. Plus, you just kind of pat it on. You don't do too much blending. Otherwise, the product kind of disappears, but so far, so good. Okay. What are we gonna put on our face today? You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna use one of my favorite foundations as of late from Lisa Eldridge. Bitch, I'm obsessed. It's such a pretty finish. Also, I don't know I look really, um, <laughs> kind of intense right now. I think the green eyes and the, uh, oh God, the pink skin. <laughs> But we're gonna cover that right up. I swear, I love this thorn oil. It's a little intense, yeah, but I assure you it's a good fucking time. So I'm kind of like in between shades one and two. So I'm just gonna do a, like a pump of each. I'm just gonna use this little brush because unfortunately, wing brushes do not have like a foundation brush in this collection. I'm just gonna take a little more and just kind of go over some areas where my redness is poking through. I really like this foundation with a brush and then going over it a scotch just to remove some of the brush marks. But I found like it has really good coverage when you use that. I feel like for me, I can get this to be like a high medium coverage. Anything more than it, I feel like it's impossible. I don't know why on my skin type to make this a full coverage foundation. I don't know why. I feel like I have used so much product and I still see like redness kind of poking through. So what I like to do is just kind of do like a nice high medium and then go over any areas that I'm just like, oh, this is a little too red. I kind of want to get rid of it. Then I go over it with like a nice concealer and I find that the marriage of those two are fucking great. I'm just gonna go in with some Koki concealer, which this is like my favorite concealer ever. It's a little right there, a little right there. I'm just gonna put right here too. Just get a lot of redness right there and right there. <laughs> and over here. So what are we gonna do here? So let's use some face brushes. We're gonna go in with this giant boy right here, which is the F31 and it's our large powder brush. And I'm gonna use the Lunar Beauty Outer Dimension Palette, which is this adorable little palette right here. How terrifying would that be? <laughs> this comes and gets you in the middle of the night. Just saying. I have been using this for a, a little bit now. I really like it. I'm gonna go in between like these two powders and just lightly dust my face. Love that. The other thing too is within this collection, I picked up the Lunar Beauty brush set. Now, I'm not sure if y'all remember when I tried Lunar Beauty's brush set, I didn't like it. I just felt like the bristles were just too fucking flimsy and I just, they weren't my cup of tea. The face brushes are fantastic. Highly recommend checking out the face brushes if you're looking for a nice synthetic brush. Honestly, between the bling brushes and the Lunar Beauty, you cannot go wrong. They're both fabulous. So I'm gonna go in with this brush, which is the F34. And this is the under eye setting brush. And I'm gonna go in with this brightening shade right here. I'm gonna mix it with the first two powders. I like how that feels. Love that. And you know what? For shits and giggles, let's try to see if I can use this as a bronzer too, because I haven't done that with the Lunar Beauty. I know you can, so let's try it out. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Tan Sky. I was literally gonna call it Tansky. Okay. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Fuck it. No, I'm gonna go in with bronze. Let's go in with bronze sky. Oh. Oh, hello, pigment. Holy sh. Okay. Okay. That's cute, though. I'm not mad at it. Mm. I love bronzer brushes that are more angled because I kind of feel like it gets right into my chicken cutlet really good. <laughs> I love that. All right, so what the hell was I talking about? Oh yeah, so I'm moving. I'm moving um, end of January. Um, to say it's been stressful is a fucking understatement because I, you know, obviously want to continue to do dead mess because bitch, I just started. And I wanted to do it because one, I mean, not gonna lie, obviously this is the best time to make any sort of AdSense. So for any of my videos that do get monetized, this is why YouTube creators really just kind of throw a lot of fucking content out in the wall because companies just want to empty their pockets and fucking come on, like that's amazing. But besides that though, which by the way, 
Not gonna lie, any little bit helps with this fucking move because it's expensive. <laughs> but I wanted to kind of, I don't know, give myself a challenge, right? Like I post maybe three, four times a week and with a job, it's very, very difficult. And if I didn't have Paul Giamatti's help, like I would be up shit's creek. I, I just wouldn't be able to fucking do it. I wanna see if I can do this. I wanna see if I could post every day. And I know I started early, but my intention is actually to go for the whole month of fucking December, like all the way up to December 31st. So, <sighs> Ugh, you're either gonna love me or hate me after it's done. I'm really excited. I'm trying to do like also fun content, different content uh, during this time because you know, like you don't wanna do the same shit over and over again. You know what I mean? So in any case, I'm fucking excited and I am just really stressed out. <laughs> not stressed out from like the YouTube aspect. It's just not having enough time. That's really what it boils down to because I love doing this. This is fucking fun. This is the only creative outlet that I have because you know, you know, I fucking, I have a, I have a fucking desk job. Like it's, it's nothing fucking glamorous right like I feel like this is my only time where I get to really have fun and do a lot of fun stuff so I love this and if I didn't have this I would god I don't even know what the fuck I would even be doing honestly I need this I don't mind the brush as like an under eye powder but like I like to go in with like a sponge or like R.I.P. Tati Beauty <laughs> but I like going with these little powder puffs because I feel like that's just, I don't know, for me, it's like a better way of actually like really getting the powder in there. But um, I have to say for the Lunar Beauty, if you're looking for a nice under eye powder, not too shabby. It doesn't dry out my under eye area and we love that for me. We love a bitch that brightens, you know what I mean? Now, what are we gonna do? We successfully bronze our face, ish. <laughs> ish, actually I'm gonna go in just a little bit more because I am a glutton for punishment, but I really do love the face brushes though. These are really cute. I like how soft they are. Okay, I really made myself very, very bronze. Okay, we're gonna have to comb it back. Comb it back, T-Dog, comb it back. All right, that's, that's better, way better, cool, happy. All right, good. So, what we're gonna now use is Laura Lee Los Angeles. She released an adorable little blush palette. Look how cute this is. And we're gonna go in, oh no, fuck. Getting kind of a funky reaction to the Milan Rowe. Then again, I think maybe the epoxy just got a little bit too close to the sun because it's not doing it on the other side. So I think just this eye is just watery today. It's rebelling, obviously, like a teenage girl. Okay, so we're gonna go in. Oh, hilarious. I'm a fucking idiot. Okay, so. <laughs> There's no wrong way of using your brushes, okay? So this technically should have been a blush brush and this should have technically been a contour brush. But what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna switch it up. So this was my bronzer brush and I'm gonna use this little fat guy and I'm gonna use him as the blush. Why not, right? So I'm gonna go in with, oh, I don't know, Tiger Lily? Let's go in with Tiger Lily. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. You're pigmented, woo. You are super pigmented. Okay, you know what also works when you keep stamping the fucking product in? That really works. Okay, 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 I mean, listen. I... <laughs> Hold please. <laughs> Let's just try to blend this out. Okay, I mean, not too shabby. That was my own error. <laughs> so I'm just gonna kind of go over it with a little bit more of the like the darker bronzer powder. It's fine. <laughs> okay, all right. That looks a hell of a lot better. Okay, for a second I was like, oh no. <laughs> what the fuck did I do? Ooh. But we got it back, we're good. Okay, so I don't really have, oh yeah, you know what we could use actually? Another influencer, Makeup by Mario, right? Mario, Mario. We could use the highlighter. I actually got this from the Sephora sale, even though this literally does not go. But we're gonna use the little highlighter bl blush brush. Jesus Christ, the highlighter brush, which I really like. I do love a good fan brush. They're fun. Ooh, it looks like I have the meat sweats. I like that. Very, very pigmented. When in doubt, just put it all over your nose. Do I need more? Yo, yeah, yeah, absolutely, sure. <laughs> Whatever you say, bub. Was that excessive? Absolutely. Are you surprised? You shouldn't be. Okay. I'm taking this under eye powder brush, which actually really could make for a beautiful highlighter as well. I'm just diffusing it so it doesn't look, you know, super fucking slutty. Not bad. 
not bad not bad i'm liking this I, I think this is pretty cute so what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish up the look and i noticed that i'm having like a bit of a situation on this side so let's see if we can fix that now let's see you know what i've been wanting to try this eyeliner for a little bit so we might as well just like fuck it up hardcore and this is from house laboratories I kind of been wanting to try this. Oh, this is nice. Okay. Not too shabby. I have to say out of all the liquid liners I've ever tried, like out of a pen, this is by far the best one I've ever tried. And I'm beyond impressed with how little fucking time it took me to do that. I am blown away. And it doesn't seem to be running, which is nice. I'm literally watering on this side of the eye, so I'm kind of like trying not to go too close to the inner corner, but this tip and I, I fucking, yeah, this is a yes, absolutely yes. So far I've been really enjoying everything, but like that one just took me for a loop because I didn't expect that. So, okay, let's finish the rest of my eye look, which I'm gonna go, what am I gonna do? I don't know no idea what the fuck I should do but I think I, there's a couple of brushes I haven't used yet and we're gonna go in with this one which is the E38 the flat liner definer brush right yep flat liner definer okay <laughs> you know I'm gonna go in with the shade don't be rash I'm gonna go with this red shade why not put it right up the lash line I am getting a little bit of fallout with this shade I kind of just want to do all the way over but make it a little bit more dramatic towards the back. And I'm just gonna take a large powder brush, wipe that away. Blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna go in with the calamine shade. I'm just gonna pop that right in the inner corner. You know, I'm just that extra bitch today. I kinda need a little bit, <laughs> bit of the makeup by Mario. Just get a little bit of sparkle right there. Okay, and now. I'm just gonna take, ooh, no, that was a bad idea. I'm gonna take this one, buff that out. Really love the bristles of these. They're so nice and soft. All right, so, let me just throw on some mascara. Okay, so I think the only thing missing obviously is a lip. And then we can wrap this motherfucker up. So Luna Beauty also has a bunch of different liquid lipsticks. Let's try one. Oh, that looks beautiful. Okay, maybe that one. <laughs> oh, pink gloss too. Oh, bitch. Okay, I like that one as well. Oh, it's purple. Oh, it's purple. I kind of want to do purple. It's not like me to do purple. Oh, that does not go. Oh, that does not go. But I love it. <laughs> Oh, please. We're gonna be basic, all right? We're gonna go in with the shade Perfection because I'm perfection. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, okay, okay, okay. All right, uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. all right, so this is the completed look. I love it. I actually look really cute. I would totally fuck me. <laughs> when wouldn't I fuck me? Okay, so. Let's do a recap here. Starting with the eyeshadow palette, honestly for a brand that I have never heard of and this is like my first time trying it, not bad. I do love the look that I created. Yes, the mattes needed to be built up a little bit. The shade, not today Batman, wasn't my favorite, but I think when you kind of just pack it out on the outer corner and then you combine it with the darker shimmers, I think it's just really, really pretty. Of course, I will let you know in an updated video when I continue to keep using this palette if I think it's like worth really, really checking out. But so far so good though. Like not mad like i really do love my cute little tiny adorable little look with it so i love that listen the brush set which is kind of fucking all over the all over the place Bling brushes is fabulous. Definitely go check out Allie Dawson's collection. I have to say four brushes that I was a little like, oh, I don't know. They're going to fit like my eye shape because I put it eyes. I used every one of them with the exception of E34, which is the angle liner and brow brush. This is going to come in handy, especially when applying eyeliner to the waterline. I have to say like the bristles are incredibly soft. So if you're looking for a nice synthetic company that has really, really nice soft bristles, definitely check out Bling brushes. And again, congratulations, Allie. Like this is a beautiful collection love the bag i'm gonna pop the prices up because i don't know off the top of my head but um it launches today so if you're interested definitely go check out and if you want to save some money use the code 
garbage. Again, an affiliated code. Let's talk about Lisa Eldridge first. I love this foundation. It's probably one of my favorite foundations that have come out this year. But for me, I'm in between like shade one and two. I just think the formula is really beautiful. It has paired very, very well with my favorite primer, my Ritual Diffuse Thorn Oil. And I just think it just sits so beautifully on the skin. I like how it sits on my nose. I don't experience any weird kind of texture or anything funky. It's the kind of makeup that I never want to take off my face. So like at the end of the day, I'm like, do I really have to wash my face? Because I want to look like this all the time. And I love that with makeup is that like I never want to take it off because I just want to look and feel like that all the time. Super comfortable, long wearing. My only gripe is that I feel like I can't really make this into like a high coverage. For me, it's like a high medium coverage. That's why I need to pair it with like a really high coverage concealer just to get rid of some redness. But other than that, totally fine. It's mask proof the whole nine yards. Like I cannot stress enough how much I love this foundation. So love that. Moving on to Lunar Beauty. This face palette is fun. Like I honestly wasn't sure what to expect from it when I first saw it launch. I thought it was a really cool concept. It's like, oh, you know, I'm very finicky and very fickle when it comes to powders. Of course, my love is Shantikai and I'm just a bitch that loves really bougie powders until I kind of found Flower Beauty, this fucking Jet Set Invisible Powder Spray. It's a fucking game changer, right? So for me to want to try something other than those two brands is like, it has to be really like revolutionary. And this is really fucking cool. I like it as an under eye powder. I think it does a really good job setting the rest of my face. I love that you do get all these kind of options in here so I can kind of mix and match and play around with different things. It pairs very well with a lot of my foundations that sometimes can be a little bit too cool, a little bit too warm, a little bit too neutral. So I like that I have different options here. Also today was the first day I really utilized the darker side as a bronzer. I like it, it looks pretty fucking cute. So I think as like an overall face palette, this is quite nice. And the white sky shade is really good, especially for brightening up this under eye area. So really, really do enjoy that. Also, the other thing that I like about this powder too is that it works really nice with the sponge. So I kind of like, you know, going in and then just like kind of carving out my little fat cheekbones over here really good. So I definitely enjoy the shit out of this. And besides the face palette, Lunar Beauty did launch a set of brushes. Like I mentioned, these are fabulous face brushes. I didn't care for the eye brushes. I'm sorry. Just I know a lot of people love them. It just wasn't my fucking cup of tea. I just found out the bristles were just, I don't know, they kind of like sprayed too much for me. I didn't experience that with bling brushes and that's what I like about bling brushes. Everything stays intact so I don't feel like the bristles are kind of going all over the place. So these as face brushes, oh bitch, these are really good too. So if you're looking for softer brushes that are synthetic, I can totally recommend checking those out. Lunar Beauty makes some of my favorite lip products. Products. These were fabulous as well. I mean, the shade Perfection. I am literal perfection, obviously. Duh, no shit. But if you are ever interested in wanting to check out anything from Lunar Beauty, I am affiliated with them. So if you use the code garbage, you can save 10% off your order. Please know that it is affiliated. So I do make a small kickback if you do use it. Okay, so the next thing that we have is, oh, how can we forget about Laura Lee? Miss Laura Lee Los Angeles. This is the Blush Aesthetic Palette. First of all, this is really, really cute. And uh, it was my first time using it. I used the shade Tiger Lily, Bitch is Pigmented. Took me a minute to blend it out because I turned myself into a fucking possessed doll. But who cares? I look adorable. <laughs> but I really do like the quality of this. I'm gonna continue to use it on obviously, because um, obviously this is just like kind of an initial impression with this particular product and I like it, but I want to use the other shades and see if I like those more. But so far, so good. I look really cute today. I can totally fuck myself. I love it. Uh, am I missing anything else? No. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Eyeliner. Yes. I finally bit the bullet and I bought a bunch of stuff from House Labs and I'm going to be testing that out shortly for y'all. This is the first product that actually arrived and it was the eyeliner. This is fabulous. This is fucking fantastic. I understand why people speak so highly about this. It's a formula that's so incredibly easy to use. The brush tip is so small and precise. It hugs your lash line and I didn't notice any sort of irritation or anything like that. Sometimes brush heads can kind of like, I don't know, like they poke me in a weird way or they just kind of feel really, really rough on the eyelid and then I start to cry. This was like, bam done like literally no time at all. I'm fucking impressed with this. So I can't wait to try other stuff from House Labs. I know I can't believe what I'm saying but this was awesome. So uh yeah that's pretty much it right? Yeah, I guess that's it. Everything that I talked about in today's video will be linked down below. I'm gonna do another get ready with me where I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the move and all that stuff. Uh, I just wanted to play with makeup today and just kind of like just chat 
just chat with you. But um, yeah, all right. So with that said, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button, it's free, and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, to all my beautiful, wonderful patron bubbies. Thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, filthy, trashy, really trashy, really filthy, really gross, really nasty, but beautiful. Garbage boat afloat, I couldn't do without you, and I love your adorable little delicious faces. If you wanna know what's currently on my face, along with everything I mentioned in today's video, everything will be listed in the description box below. And with that said, I'll see you little pumpkins tomorrow. Bye.